Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Plot to unturn PDP victories at the tribunal uncovered. So there is a current plot now to unturn PDP victory and um, everybody is beginning to ask serious questions because some people feel that they have a right to do so. No other person, you know, uh, can take on come on and win. The judiciary sadly has become the new place where some people, you know, exercise their opportunity to masquerade themselves and get away with, you know, with lies being propagated in our judiciary system. This is absurd, but sadly, this is what is happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. Indications has emerged at the weekend that the Chief Justice of Nigeria, CJN, Justice Olukayode Arowolo, and the National Chairman of the Ruling All Progressive Congress, APC, Dr. Abdurrahim Ganduji, alongside Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Senator George Akumo, met in his Aso Koro residence in Abuja on how to unturn the victory of PDP at the tribunal. A correspondent gathered that the meeting was allegedly called at the instance of the national chairman of the ruling party, Ganduji, after the pronouncement of the gubernatorial election petition trial sitting in Nasarawa state, declaring David as the winner of the election, the PDP candidates. The cross of the agenda for the source said it that most of the victories recorded, particularly the National Assembly election, must be nullified by the applicant court. To this end, the CJ, CJF had allegedly blackmailed the CJN that he was acting on behalf of President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who instructed him to convey the meeting. A very highly placed source has confirmed to our correspondent that the CJN was allegedly invited first to the meeting to instruct to be instructed, particularly the president of the court, Justice Dangle Massey, to intimidate all judges handling the various appeal arising from the tribunal to, fav to rule in favor of the APC candidates. According to the source, the CJN is secretly meeting with president of the applicant court within the next few weeks to finalize the plot. Recall that the national chairman of the ruling All Progressive Congress, Dr. Ganduji, has vowed to protest the mandate of the party in Nasarawa stressing that the party won the 2023 election in the state, speaking in Lafia at the ground reception organized in honor of the Nasarawa state chairman of APC. Ganduje insists that APC will take over the state. He's not just saying words, but he's giving a promise. According to APC national chairman, who was represented at the event by Halaji Mazu, Rajesh, National Vice Chairman, North Central, the party would protest its mandate in Nasarawa state and reclaim the state. We have won the election and we shall protest our mandate and protect it at all costs. This, there is no doubt about it. Nasarawa state belongs to APC and APC belongs to Nasarawa state. We are in charge and we will continue to be in charge. By the grace of God, he said, Governor Salio at the occasion said APC chairman stands out as a politician that is capable of providing the necessary leadership to the party to facilitate for his administration to be reinstated. According to the governor, Nasarawa only belonged to witness genuine government in 2011. And if we continue to allow people of other faiths take over Nasarawa state, this will not go down well with the state. So we want Nasarawa state back. Others have also come into the situation. So my lovely, wonderful people, it is becoming a serious matter because uh, people are taking it rather very personal, saying that, you know, they must have the Nasarawa state at all costs. And so they are meeting and uh, they, they get meeting, they, they meet together, they, they stay together to discuss matters. Say, going forward, the court case will must favor their party, APC, you know, as we speak right now, PDP has won Nasarawa State, but they are saying, no, you cannot win. 
So Ganduje do threaten, according to what we heard, do they threaten CJ and say, what are you doing? Eh, what's your job description? Every other case, please, all the appeal now must give judgment to favor APC. So reliable information, they tell us, say, we're saying at the meeting where they will be that, you know, say, Ganduje tell CJ and Senna, Tinubu nice Senna for this message, for this worker when he enters, so say, we say, may they claim all, the, may they claim Nasara State and all the state appeal that appeal court, you know, is currently looking into the matter. Say because currently now it feels like APC is losing ground, and you know they are not just prepping for now; they are prepping for the future in case anything that you know. So they will not want a situation where they will not have a stand. Say so they have to do something about it, you know. So according to what we are hearing, the CGN is having a is wanting to have discussions with the you know with these guys to say, you know what, what do we do? Uh, this is how you are to judge the case. Make sure APC wins. Well, Nigeria cannot continue like that. All lies and everything going on must be, you know, must be exposed for all to see. If APC has no one and they want to unturn people's victory, it cannot stand. It cannot stand. They will try, but they would not get through. They would definitely try. I can assure you for that. They would definitely try, but it will not, it will not go very far. Will not allow it to, to see the light of day. So it is important that every single person begins to ensure that we do everything humanly speaking necessary possible to ensure that the truth is revealed. These are the crook that Tinubu has surrounded himself with. People who want to ensure that they prevail at all costs. Whether they are whether they are not right or they are right, they don't care. Okay, they don't care what happened. So long as he favors them, yes, then yeah, that's what they want. You know, so these are the people who are doing everything humanly speaking possible to ensure that they take over. But, but is that what it ought to be? Is that what it ought to be? The answer is no. And that's why, again and again, every single person must rise up and we must ensure that the truth is, you know, prevails. No matter what happens, we must ensure that the truth prevails and that we are moving forward as a nation and as a people and we do not allow, you know, selfish individuals to take over that which belongs to us. If there is any need for this country to move forward, this is the time. Okay, this is the time. We will not allow, you know, selfish and you know dangerous people whose whose mission statement is to is to is to take over Nigeria to stand. Leave us a comment. Don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. God bless. Have a fantastic and a lovely day from us. It's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Bye bye.